is absolutely bonkers. And that's not bad. It's called substitution. And it's something that we've been working on for a long time. I'm just going to put that in parentheses because that's what y equals. I'm going to put y in parentheses. Now, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to rewrite the problem. But instead of y, I'm going to put everything that I just had in parentheses. And all they're going to do is switch places. So if I start working through this problem, I've got 2x. 3 times 2 is 6x. 3 times negative 5 is negative 15 equals 17. Now, I need to combine like terms. 2x plus 6x is 8x minus 15 equals 17. I'm going to add 15 to both sides. I'm going to add 15 over here as well. I'm left with this. 8x is equal to 32 and x equals 4. Now, as soon as I found out what x is equal to, I need to plug it back into this equation to find out how much y is. So if I take 4 and I plug it back in, what's 2 times 4? 2 times 4 is 8. 8 minus 5, y equals 3. That's how it's done. Hopefully that helps you with the substitution method. So shines a good deed in a weary world.